everybody out there on Wiper Street. You already know what it is. Salute everybody. What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to Steve Busa GS. We got another scorecard reactions for you. And let's go over a few things about this. We got Tom McDonald just dropped a song called I Don't Drink. Uh, I'm out of my sleep schedule for quarantine, which is kind of just whenever it happens, but I knew this was dropping, so I wanted to get on this as soon as it dropped for you guys. Uh, Tom McDonald is probably one of the only people where I will gain more subscribers from bashing him than I will for supporting him, and I just won't do it. Like, I really do support Tom. Like, Tom's one of my favorite people, too. Like, I follow him on Instagram and stuff like that. I enjoy him as an individual, maybe even more than I enjoy the music. Um, but we're going to hop into this because he does tend to have music with a message a lot more than a lot of people. Plus, he can rap his ass off. Um, hit that subscribe button. Get this to 25 likes uh, if you want to see me drop some more Tom McDonald um, stuff. Also, under reviews, uh, let's switch the orientation up for you real quick. You'll see that uh, Tom McDonald is actually on my list of people that I listen to. Boom, right there in the middle. Um, so that review is going to be for either... Boom Bap 101, uh, or I'm sorry. Those are like my two favorite tracks from. So I'm going to break down one of those two uh, for that series. I'll leave a link below if you want to go and vote on that. Also, I hear you guys telling me go full screen. Boom, boom. What's going on here? Full screen when we go to record. I got you. Uh, let's do it. Let's get into it. Tom McDowell, I don't drink. Now, this is super ironic because I have not drank in 2020 yet. So, uh, I don't know what call it a new year's resolution, but I started doing like keto and shit like that to start losing weight. I dropped like 40 pounds actually, and I haven't drank yet this year. So this is super ironic, not ironic at all, but relevant. All right, let's get into it. I screwed up. I just want to say I'm sorry. It's all my fault. You should probably ignore me, oh my god. Now I know everybody from the channel already started off spazzing about the bad singing right off the bat. Tom might actually be close to like good singing though. We might not be able to give him credit for that. Let's see. It's all my fault. You should probably ignore me, oh my god. I should have given you a warning, all my friends. I'm sick and tired of the story. I don't drink, cause when I'm drunk I'm annoying. Call your phone when it's three in the morning. I'll tell you what, even if you don't end up liking this, this song is going to get sent to a lot of people. <laughs> Park the whip in your garden, probably think I am mentally retarded, please don't. Hold on. In the morning, start a fight. Park the whip in your garden. I have a story about that. I should do like story time. I really should get like a whole story time section on this. If this gets 100 likes, I'll drop the story about a car that ended up getting parked in someone's lawn. Maybe not. Never mind. No incriminating stuff online. <laughs> I am mentally retarded. Please don't call me crazy because I'm not. Last night, I had one too many shots. Black down, got arrested by the cops. Woke up on the neighbor's front lawn. Every time that I'm hungover, I convince myself I'm dying. Where the hell my pants? And why is my girlfriend crying? I say that I remember what I did, but I am lying there. So this is pretty interesting because there's this is gonna split people 50-50. You're gonna have 50% of people who are gonna see like the comedic value in this, like ha ha ha, like I've been there, like I was just kind of joking about having like the lawn story and stuff like that. But then 50% of the people are actually like people who have gone through that. I don't know, 50% might be like too high but anyway the point is like there are going to be those from an alcoholic perspective i have friends that are very very near and dear to me in aa and like they're going to relate to like this this music is going to do something special for that crowd and i think that's part of the controversy with tom mcdonald too is that like he makes music often for a very specific niche and it isolates everybody else and he doesn't give a fuck like he's making music for that niche and he doesn't really care it's, it's unapologetic about the people who aren't going to get it like as long as that person who's supposed to get it gets it there's a tattoo on my butt cheek it's a beer can and he's smiling i'm pretty sure that last night went down in history we made it out of life and that's a big The 
the ironic part about this is Tom McDonald, my understanding as a longtime fan, is a recovering alcoholic, right? He used to drink really, really heavy. He talks about it a lot in his music. Is that people are going to use this as a theme to get more waste into. Like, there is going to be people who are going to have Edward Forty Hands singing this at the top of their lungs getting wasted. I'm a mess, and I know you don't deserve it. You're the best, and I'm a pretty stupid person. Nonetheless, you try to help me because I'm hurting. I confess, sometimes I feel like I'm not worth it. I don't drink, because when I'm drunk, I'm a problem. I don't care who I hurt, I feel awesome. I'ma be at rock bottom. Please help. Tell me how I end up here. Last night. This is this is so deceivingly deep. Like, this is very, very low-key, a ser like a serious, serious song. He is masking bars, like legit bars, with this sing-songy happy outlook. Like, is this too low? Soon enough, I'ma be at rock bottom. Please help, tell me how'd I end up here. Last night, I had one too many beers. Flashbacks, but I can't remember clear why I texted all my exes and we haven't spoken years. Every time that I'm hungover, last night doesn't feel so funny. I threw up on my front step and I wasted all my money. I got naked in a nightclub right in front of all my buddies. Then I went home with some girl I thought was hot, but she is ugly. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that last night I went down in history. We made it out alive and that's a victory. Black guys and minor injuries. We lost the fight together, that's a win to me. I don't drink when I'm drunk, I'm retarded as a round. This is also a banger. Jesus Christ. I'm the night for the party. Hold my beer. Can you hear it? I don't hear it. Damn, oh no. My sexy photos, can we clear it? We need to clear it. I'm pretty sure that last night I went down in history. We made it out alive and that's a victory. Black guy. Yo, this is gonna go viral. This is a thousand percent gonna go viral. Minor injuries. We lost the fight together, that's a win to me. Shout out to Nova. Uh, super simple video. Did not take away from the lyrical goodness. Like, all right, let's let's let's, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. All right, switch it up, switch it up. Uh, pull up the scorecard. Boop boop. Oh, we still got the last ones up. You would think by now, I'd be a smart man, and have this all blanked out before we start it. Uh, break the scorecard down. That was awesome and we are totally here for the whole track of bad singing holy shit uh taylor made for this channel i want to talk about this let's go to the breakdown uh i'm a fan i'm a tom mcdonald fan long term target audience uh yeah this is going like i said this is going to appeal to different people for different reasons and he's like, it's not unintentional. He knows what he's doing. He's an extremely intelligent artist and marketer, more than anything. Like, all right, let's, let's get to it. The proper setting to drink this in, it depends who you are, man. It really does. If you're part of the crowd that's out there that's going to like enjoy this while they're getting wasted, it's going to be an anthem for you. You have the other part that's going to do this as like when you're in just fucking misery like Pete, when you fucked up on your 12 steps or whatever the case may be, like there are a lot of settings this is going to be effective with. I think majority of people obviously are not in a program or anything like that. So I think the proper setting is probably going to be uh, at a pregame. This is going to get, this is a hundred percent getting blasted at pregames. Ghost Raiders. Niz. Nah. Let me 
make sure. Did I mess this up? Nah, we're Gucci. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. All right. Let's go. Bars, lyrics. <clears throat> now, I am extremely critical of the people that I listen to because I do, like, a lot of times if it's a new artist, I don't have a good idea of what they're capable of. So it's difficult for me to, like, like give it, like, it's easy to give a 20, but like, hey, this is the best they can do. The more familiar with an artist I am, the more critical I can be between breaking down the bars and the lyrics. Um... This is, I don't actually know. How are we going to do this? It's, it's, I don't think he could have did better for the topic that he hit. Like one of the things that, that, that got me into Tom McDonald is Tom McDonald has that Joe Budden vibe where it's like, there's no wasted lyrics. He doesn't have filler. He doesn't say things just because they rhyme. He has that mastery over the English language to where it sounds like he's just talking or just getting his point across, but it all flows so perfectly. Like those words were supposed to be written in that sentence and like in that order. I'm, I'm giving him a... I'm gonna give him a 20, 22 on this. I think he snapped on this. Uh, da, da, da. It wasn't a bar fest. Why wasn't it a bar fest? Because this wasn't a type of track that's a bar fest. This wasn't I'm sorry. This wasn't him coming out and like, like there is a very, very serious undertone to the happy sing song here that is like the message that is being driven home. Um, yeah. I also would have liked, like, to be perfect for me to really give this a perfect verse 25, like he would have had to have snapped off in one part though. Um, the delivery, 22, across the board, he just, he snapped on this whole thing. Uh, and we're gonna make up points in miscellaneous too. So like beat selection was good. The beat selection was interesting actually. Like. His decision to make this a sing-songy, like to do that contrast where he has that kind of like anthem feel to it while being a very like serious undertone, especially knowing the artist. Damn, I'm gonna give him the full points, 15 out of 15. I, I think I would have liked to hear him tackle this topic on a, a more serious track, like a, a, a more surface serious track, like one that that's like, you don't actually have to know what's going on. Like there are people who don't know who Tom McDonald are that are going to listen to this and they're going to be like, oh yeah, fuck him. This guy just likes to get wasted and this is a fun like song for everybody. They're not going to like dig any deeper than that. Sound quality and mixing. Quality was good. Uh, video was obviously less than usual. Uh, blame quarantine. But again, can you really say that though? Because you got people like MGK out there who are killing shit, but 15 out of 15 on the sound quality and mixing. Uh, the effectiveness. Do I think that this artist got his point across? 10 out of 10. I think that people like me, who have been around for a while, who have been in the circuit, who listen to Tom McDonald's music, who know the artist, and are able to see the message underneath, I think he's getting the point across to us, and I think he delivered on the mass appeal that everyone's gonna just fucking love this. I think he hit it on both ends, so I think he nailed it. Enjoyability. Uh, super, super enjoyable under circum uh, circumstance, uh, specific circumstances, giving it an 8. Comes out to a 92, and I'm going to give plus 2 points, an additional 1 for bars and lyrics, an additional 1 for delivery. Uh, we do, we're here for the bad singing, you get the extra points for that. The bars and lyrics, even though it wasn't bars, it was still so well written that I, I don't feel like the 22 necessarily does it justice. It was a, it, he spazzed in his own way, you know what I mean? Uh, 94, there you have it. Tom McDonald, I don't drink. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Uh, get this up. What did I say? 25 likes, 50 likes. Get it to 50 likes. Tom McDonald's viral. Uh, get this to 50 likes, and I will drop some more Tom McDonald reactions. Uh, please subscribe. Channel is growing. We're at like 170-some-odd subscribers right now. I love you guys. Uh, we have definitely been growing, and this has been a ton of fun in quarantine. We got some good music to go over, so hopefully uh, you guys stick around, and uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one.